Daigaho. Well, I actually probably won't be speaking much uh, Cantonese in this video. I'm actually going to be doing a update on my Mandarin crash course. Yes, it is a crash course because it was basically a failure. Um, whenever I would, I, I was going to go to Taiwan, so the plan was to, uh, for two weeks before the trip, to give up studying Cantonese and then just intensively study survival Mandarin. So I'll be prepared when I go to Taiwan. Well, that was the idea, but it didn't work out so well. I found whenever I like sat down to study, I didn't have any motivation, and yeah, I would always, I'd say, okay, I can't, can't study Cantonese, but I'd really want to, and then, you know, I'd be going through my day, oh, I wonder how you say this word. No, don't look it up. Okay, I, I looked it up. <laughs> so, yeah, it didn't work out so well. So I went, I went to Taiwan knowing basically nothing. I think I, like I said, the and maybe one or two other things but that was about it so it was not successful the first um, two days of the trip or a couple of days of the trip I was with um, Mandarin speakers so they did all the talking and I didn't need to say anything um, and then but the last two days of the trip my sister and I went to um, a hostel and then we were going around on our own um, so in that case I then I was using this handy little phrase book um, and actually yeah it was we got by pretty well it was quite fun um, yeah just to use the language and actually you know use it in a meaningful way not just studying um, then I had the motivation because I wanted to communicate with the people around me um, and it worked out well because I think especially studying um, Cantonese before it wasn't, you know, foreign to me, the, the setup of sentences, if you're doing the um, have, not have kind of um, structure um, is similar. And then, of course, a lot of the words are, you know, are, are similar. Um, pronunciation is a little bit on the tricky side. <laughs> my mouth is not used to making those sounds. So, as my sister said, I feel like my, I'm spraining my mouth. But I think that's probably pretty normal for you know, making new sounds in a new language. Um, I did go through a bit of Cantonese withdrawal. Um, I was like, oh man, I wish I could be speaking that now. Um, but yeah, luckily we actually had two guys from Macau and one guy from Hong Kong at our hostel. So I did actually get to talk with them some and um, learned a couple words from them and new phrases. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, and now that I've come back to Hong Kong, I've forgotten uh, most of what I learned. I think I still know Wo Xiang Chi, but <laughs> yeah. And then sometimes when I hear people say things, now I'll I'll actually know what they're saying for at least you know some of the words. Whereas before I didn't know anything, so I guess that's good. But yeah, I think I definitely won't be keeping it up. Um, People always are asking me why I'm not learning Mandarin, why I'm learning Cantonese, <laughs> and um, it all comes down to motivation, basically. So with, with Mandarin, everyone says that it's so useful, but I'm not in business, and I'm like living here, so for me it's not very useful, actually. I'm, I only know a couple Mandarin speakers, like native Mandarin speakers, um, and usually we speak in English, so yeah. And almost all the people I'm surrounded by are Cantonese speakers. Um, and even if they can speak Mandarin, it's, you know, their second language. So I don't really want to be learning Mandarin from someone when it's their second language. Um, I mean, no offense, but <laughs> anyway, um, for now, I think I'll, I'll just continue with Cantonese. And then who knows, maybe if I get to a competent level, um, then I'll come back to Mandarin, especially if I'm you know, maybe if I go to Taiwan or China or I'm surrounded by more, more speakers where I can actually use it in a meaningful way, um, then who knows, maybe I'll come back to it. But for now, I think I'll be closing this chapter on Po Tong Wa and be continuing in Cantonese. So, hi Gamzin.